Good day, this is Ray. Today is Saturday, January 20th, 2024. For me, another day of learning and growing. Hope that you, your family, friends, and loved ones are doing well and staying safe. So, I'm currently in bed right now. Um, I did get up and have breakfast. Um, like usual, uh, I had my medications first set at 5 a.m. Second set of medications at um, 6 a.m. with uh, some breakfast. So, you know, this week I've been thinking about, well, a lot of, a lot of times I'm thinking about my consumer debt and, you know, how I ended up here. Um, ended up with $115,000 worth of uh, non-mortgage debt, consumer debt. Uh, a big part of my debt is the student loans. I get that, but also a big part of that was a uh, credit card debt. And... Um, not having any direction or any guidance as to how we really should be spending money. <clears throat> so, and um, I'm not sure if, I, if I've given this update yet, but I have paid off half of my consumer debt as of um, January 14th. So I'm um, halfway to my goal of uh, paying off that 115000 Taking a little bit longer uh, because, uh, for one thing, I have uh, systemic lupus erythematosus. So I visit my rheumatologist um, every quarter. Um, I have to have labs done at each time. I do have a health plan with uh, my employer, so that has been helping me tremendously. But every year since 2019, I've met my deductible. And... Um, I want to say two out of those uh, almost five years now, I've met my out-of-pocket maximum. Now, deductible, 1600 Medications do uh, count towards that. Um, but, you know, bulk of that was the doctor's visits and uh, out-of-pocket maximum, 4600 And the times that I hit the uh, out-of-pocket maximum were the times that I was hospitalized. And I didn't have that money, so I used my credit cards, actually, to be able to uh, afford to pay for those hospital stays. Um, when you meet your out-of-pocket maximum, then the, the health plan pays for anything above that. So that was very helpful. Um, and also, it wasn't utilizing my benefits. So, for example, I have a health reimbursement account. I didn't, didn't even know about it until um, I had one of my hospital stays, and then a friend of mine said, "Are you using this HRA?" You know, I'm like, I have no idea what the heck that is. And um, you know, with my company at least, uh, we get incentives for healthy actions, such as getting physical each year, um, at, answering a questionnaire each year, and um, also talking to a nurse. Uh, being in active plans, you know, like uh, health plans, I'm sorry, like exercise and things, meeting goals. And every year, basically, I think it was probably 2020 that I started doing that. I make sure I maximize using those things because I'm looking for ways to save money. You know, um, the longer I budget, and for me, I've been budgeting now since uh, May of 2020. Uh, was it May of 2020 or May 2021? May of... No, it was 2020. Yeah, that's when I started a budget. And, you know, ever since then, I have... Uh, I've gotten better at the practice of budgeting, which is essentially what we do. As we practice budgeting, it's something that happens every month. You know, I, uh, it's easy with fixed expenses, such as your mortgage, your HOA, maybe your subscription plans. Hopefully you don't have too many of those. <clears throat> and um, electricity can be a variable, but, you know, it's not going to fluctuate too much. Your gas bill and um, any debt payments, those are pretty easy to budget for. The things that are the trickiest to budget for <coughs> are, uh, well, food, of course, uh, 
medications has gotten easier because I know basically which um, I've been I've been consistent on the same meds for the past few years and so that's easier for me so I set aside roughly 50 bucks a month for medications and then um, trying to think fuel costs that can be a variable for so I live very close to work I don't do a lot of traveling because uh, I mean <laughs> excuse me I mean I'm a compromise for one thing but also uh, I don't travel anywhere you know I just I don't go vacations and uh, you know, ever since uh, ever since I had the blood clot and the pulmonary, pulmonary, pulmonary excuse me the pulmonary embolism and the deep vein thrombosis I uh, you know don't travel long distances but you know there's a lot of ways to save money as a matter of fact I was looking at this website this morning called America Saves dot org and uh, it had has an article in there about 54 ways to save your money and a lot of those things I'm doing already uh, because I budget you know with budgeting it makes your money real I, I can I can actually think of the last time I actually used a uh, physical currency as um, a way to transact business because I don't. A lot of my currency is digital. And um, so you have to make that real. And, you know, fortunately, I have uh, great apps and programs that you can use. The one that I use is called You Need a Budget or YNAP. They've been around for a lot of years. Um, at first, it was kind of difficult to understand it. But basically what it is, it uses the envelope system. So let's say you, you have $100. And you need to divvy that hundred dollars into different categories. So, ten dollars to to fuel, ten dollars to groceries, ten dollars to medications, ten dollars to entertainment. So visually, how does that look? So you place, you're not moving money in your account per se, but you're moving money around in the app to fit into the category. So you're giving it that money in assignment. So, excuse me a second. Yeah, my nose started running and I may have to edit that out. That's a, yeah, it's, uh, it's cold. But, um, yeah, so you're taking your money, you're giving it an assignment. And, you know, it's not like you're actually physically moving that money around in your banking account. But you have this app that keeps... Uh, track of the money that you have and how much of that money in the bank is allocated to what so you know when I um, I, I just I, I save a lot of money just by budgeting uh, because I can't budget for things that probably other people budget for like going to the club or going on you know expensive vacations and uh, buying you know expensive cars maybe even getting boats and you know, all those things, and possibly putting themselves in more debt. Um, I had a uh, paradigm shift. You know, my paradigm shift was my health completely going south. And um, and then saying, okay, I need to tackle other things, so I tackle my debt. And um, the other, th- other thing I'm really going to tackle is, uh, is confidence. Because I've lost a lot of confidence over the years, especially with... Uh, uh, when it comes to uh, my career and um, and being able to just you know uh, defend myself really you know, that's, that's been hard I uh, question myself uh, you know question whether or not I know what the heck I'm talking about most times but I am going to work on that you know I'm working on it. a lot of the things I'm working on learning how to cook and I'm getting better at that you know this year I'm making a serious effort to cook more and that's been paying off actually so I'm getting less and less intimidated I'm glad that you know I'm making this investment and that's another way to save money is cook for yourself and um, like I don't I eat out but it's very rare you know Um, as a matter of fact I would probably say in a month I'll spend maybe 20 bucks on eating out and that's on the high end, high end. Uh, you know I'm only cooking for one so it's 
that was a little tricky at first because not a lot of uh, cookbooks are made for um, singles. And, um, you know, the, the one thing I learned is, just, you know, cut the ingredients in half in most cases. Um, I hadn't started bulk cooking yet, you know, like freezing foods. That's that's the next step. And, uh, you know, when I could do that, you know, I'd be really uh, uh, having a, an impact in, in my budget in particular because, uh, you know, food costs are a little bit high. Uh, fuel costs are high and uh, just looking for ways to save. So, you know, I would say uh, <clears throat> if you're just not getting started on the path of getting your finances right, you definitely want to have an emergency fund. Um, I recommend three to five thousand dollars, and um, then you know start paying off your debt and um, cut back on your well, yeah, definitely cut back on your spending. Uh, you have to have a budget. The budget I use is a zero-based budget, so every dollar I get has an assignment. Whether it's going into savings or it's going towards, you know, paying, paying off uh, debt obligations, and then, uh, you know, after you pay off your debt, build a full emergency fund, your consumer debt. If you have a home, pay off your mortgage, and then after you pay off your mortgage, um, that's when you kick your savings into high gear. So that's you know that's the key. You know, if I had started something like this in my twenties, I'd be um, much further along. And it didn't happen that way. I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I, I'm here. I'm in a, a better position than I would have been if I had decided to. If I decided to just bury my head in the sand and just let that debt keep on accumulating, but I stopped the bleeding, and now I've paid off uh, half of my debt. And I think um, it'll be next week's video where I give you the update on my uh, January numbers, and that's when you'll see. Uh, how much progress I made so far this year, which isn't, which won't be much, but you know, half of my debt is not paid off and I have about as much debt as a, uh, expensive car. If you think about it that way. And, uh, oh, and I make less than six figures a year. Hopefully not always, you know, hopefully, you know, maybe I'll hit six figures, uh, at some point before my career is over. Eh, maybe, maybe not. You know what? I'm going to be confident and say I'm going to hit six figures. I'm going to get it. six figures. I'm going to. Yeah, that's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. If you made it this far, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. You know when I post my videos. You can find me at youtube.com forward slash at Lucas Lifestyle. Thank you for watching. You all stay warm if you can. Go ahead and donate uh, your warm clothing to any uh, organization that may be your community. Uh, keep the homeless in mind. You know, I'm definitely fortunate to have a roof over my head. If you're watching this, you probably have a roof over your head. You may not. If you don't, uh, keep on pushing. You know, keep on, uh, keep on striving for getting out in the situation you may be in, if that's the case. So, all right, you all take care.